What's up YouTube? Owen here. Hope you guys are all doing well. Uh, first off, again, I want to thank you guys so much for your support in my last video. It really means a lot. Um, I think currently I'm at like 670 subs and that's like a huge growth from last video. So thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Also, one more thing before I get into today's video. I'm going to be doing top five subscriber outfits. So I want you guys to submit your outfits to me. You have to send me your Instagram handle and all the pieces that you're wearing, like the brands. You don't need like the actual name of the item, but the brands that you're wearing. And I'll show the email right now. This is the email that you should send your outfits to. Doesn't matter how you send it, just make sure you send it to me. Um, it doesn't matter what style you prefer. If you're like into tech wear, if you're into more like formal stuff, doesn't really matter. I love basically every type of street wear there is, so it's all cool to me. It doesn't really matter. I'm gonna try to pick five out of that whole bunch. If I don't get enough submissions, I'll just hold off for a little bit, but I plan on making that video around the end of February, so I'll give like a month time for people to get their submissions in. And yeah, so today's video, I'm gonna be going over some, I guess like streetwear school outfits. Um, I know that everybody has their own preferences when it comes to like dressing. Um, I know that I like to usually go a little bit out there, but when I go to class, I like to tone it down a little bit where more um, like less loud and more low key pieces, something that doesn't have like a ton of branding, you know what, you guys know what I mean basically. So I'm going to be showing you guys three outfits that I guess I would wear to school and how I'd style like more low key pieces, so hopefully you guys enjoy that. I'm going to be breaking down each outfit and going over each piece. Um, there might be some pieces I've talked about in previous videos, so if you haven't seen my other videos, please go ahead and watch them. And yeah, let's get right into the first outfit. <laughs> Okay, so for the first outfit, I'm styling it all around this piece right here, which is the undercover three and a half collar jacket. I think that's the official name. I'm not really sure. Um, I bought this from the owner of Grailed, Scott Santiago. So shout out to him. I love this jacket so much. I got it for like 340 bucks like a year ago. And I think the price now is like around 700. So it's a really good deal. Um, it's a size large or size three. Um, it has a size tag on the outside. It's got like this beautiful tiger camo pattern and it has like random patch working all around the jacket. Uh, as you can see from the inside, it's made out of a bunch of different jackets just kind of sewn together um, and attached in kind of like random places. Um, I'm normally not into M65 jackets. I think that's the official term for um, this kind of jacket, but I just love the pattern so much. I, I love all the different crazy elements to it. Um, but since this is a more crazy piece, I'm gonna try to tone it down with um, like a simpler rest of the outfit so it kind of balances. Um, I know this might be a little bit crazy to wear to school, but you know, it's it's something that I would wear to class. Okay, so under that jacket, I'm layering it with this vintage type O negative t-shirt. Um, this is a super boxy washed t-shirt. I got it off eBay for like 35 bucks, um, probably like four months ago. Um, I really love the graphic on this t-shirt. That's the main reason why I got it. Like the the group is great too, but um, I'm mainly after the graphic. I don't really care too much for the back. Um, I'm not like not a fan of this part, but you know the text is really cool too. You are not a victim. You are a volunteer. It's kind of badass. I don't know. I think the colors go really well with the jacket. It kind of like matches a little bit with the green. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think of this shirt. Um, it's a size extra large, so um, it, you know it's, it's kind of oversized and has a really wide fit to it, which is what I like in t-shirts. For the pants of the outfit, I'm wearing these Dickies Carpenter pants that has the, the hammer loop right here on the side. It's not like a super big one, but you know, it, it flares out enough so you can actually tell that it's a hammer loop. They're kind of basic pants. It's good when you're trying to balance out like a crazy piece like the, like the undercover jacket. For the shoes of that outfit, I'm wearing these Alix uh, Old School Vans. So these are basically just regular Old School Vans. It's got a couple differences though has a different toe cap, has like a suede cap, and then it's a canvas side. I don't know what the exact term is. Um, these are just basic old school Vans. There's not too much to them. I just like the pink laces. That's why I like them more than regular old school Vans. I think the colors kind of go well with the outfit. 
adds a little bit of extra color to it. But I talked about these in my Leaks Alternatives video. I explained how you can uh, get these for like a cheaper price, like get the same look. So definitely go watch that video if you haven't already. And then finally, as a little bit of like an added accessory, I was wearing this Alix lanyard. I don't know what the exact term is, but it's got this roller coaster belt at the bottom. It's like a super mini one. And then just has like a lanyard strap. And yeah, that's pretty much it. It's kind of like a substitute for a necklace. Um, I decided I didn't really want to wear necklaces in the outfit, so I threw this on. It's just like an added extra flair that I think works well with the outfit. and. It's like an extra layering piece, essentially. Yeah. Moving on to outfit number two, the sweatshirt I'm wearing is this number nine double skull. Uh, this is like one of my favorite hoodies. It's kind of rare because not only is it a size four, which is like a US large to extra large, but um, it's also a white zip version. And there's like lots of different variations of the double skull hoodies. There's like crew neck, there's hoodie, and there's zip and non zip. And then, you know, the larger the size, the kind of more rare it is because. Um, this brand run, runs really, really small. Um, it's got this huge oversized hood, which I'm honestly not a fan of. Like, I never wear it with the hood up. As you can see, it's, it's just massive. Um, I also love the, um, the cut of it. I don't know what the exact cut is, but it's got like this baseball sleeve going on where it, like, it connects from the shoulder to the underarm. Little holes and distressing all around the hoodie. Um, the, the edges of the fabric kind of frayed a little bit, which is, isn't from age, it's just how it was made. I got this off Grailed, I believe. I want to say I got it for like 250 which is a really good price for this hoodie. People are charging like upwards of like $500 now, which is insane. So I believe it's from like 2004-ish. It's around the early 2000s, so kind of an old piece, but I, it's still keeping its color. Um, it's not fading to yellow at all. So it's a great piece, I love this. Under the number nine hoodie, I'm wearing this number nine inverted Mickey tee. It's got one on the back, which is from the back, and then one on the front. Um, and also it's inverted, so a lot of these will just have the regular Mickey colors or a black and white version. This one's black and white, but just inverted. Um, it's a size four, which is kind of rare. I got this off Grailed, I wanna say, I want to say I got it grilled for like a hundred oh it was hundred and fifteen dollars hundred and fifteen dollars shipped which is a great price for this um, size four actually fits pretty well I'm a US large and it fits like a US large so um, I definitely recommend sizing up these t-shirts are gonna fit really really small um, yeah just a great black t-shirt kind of like an essential for the pants of outfit number two I am wearing these Alix nylon cargo pants with the uh, the roller coaster keychain strung from the one of the loops. These are like one of my favorite pants right now. Um, they're super durable and they're made entirely out of this like nylon cotton blend. So they're kind of thick um, and they keep their structure really well. But I just love all the little design elements that Matthew Williams added to these. It might be kind of hard to see. I don't know if I can fit it on the camera, but it has two Velcro straps on each leg. So if you want to go for a more slimmer look, you just pull the strap a little bit more and knock it down and you have yourself like a skinnier fit or you can loosen it for um, like a regular fit. These are just like some of my, my favorite pants right now. Um, great black pants. I don't really own too many black pants so these are a great option. I do have the, the, like the dark green cotton version of these coming in the mail so I'll be sure to review those for you guys. They're the same cut, it's just made of a different material and different color. So yeah, it's a great pant. I don't believe you can find these online anymore, but if you can, definitely buy them. These are just like one of my favorite pants and they're super durable. Um, and then the keychain, you know, it's just a regular keychain except it's got this roller coaster belt thing. I don't know. It's just kind of like an extra flair that, I, that I've seen a lot of people wear these pants with, so I decided to throw it on as well. Um, I never really put any keys on this because honestly, it's a little long, so if you have this and then keys, it's just kind of 
a lot going on. Moving on to the shoes of the outfit number two, I am wearing these 1994 Chicago ones. So these are the 94 version, which is like the first retro they did. They did um, the 85, like the original release in 1985, and then they did a re-release in 94, and then a few more in like the 2000s. Um, these are pretty good condition considering their age. A lot of these pairs will have like a really brown sole, which I'm trying to get naturally on these. Um, I've just been wearing them a lot, so the, the sole will start to fade a little bit because I really like the, um, the rugged look. I bought these... I think it was around a year ago for, for $400, which um, wasn't too bad, but you know, it wasn't like the lowest price ever. I was just kind of looking for a pair of these, um, and they're kind of rare back then, but I'm sure now there's a lot more pairs that have popped up, so definitely recommend getting, the, getting these shoes. I just love the red, white, and black. I think they're great colors, and I think it adds like a good amount of color to the outfit too without going too far. Moving on to the third outfit, I decided to go a little bit lighter with the layers, so no jacket, no sweatshirt. Um, I'm just going to be wearing this Alix Visual Rotten, Rotterdam, Rotterdam t-shirt. I'm not sure if you can find this anymore. This is from like a capsule collection or a capsule um, little mini release, so it was kind of like a, it wasn't very like well-known release. Um, but it's got this really nice blueprint. It's like a really interesting material. This is not like a normal uh, like screen print. It's got like a really thick feel to it. As you can probably hear, it's got like some, some actual weight to it, some structure. I got this off the Elix website. I believe it was like 140 euros or something like that. So like around $160 US shipped. Um, it's a really great t-shirt. It's like a polyester blend, but it feels like a 100% cotton. Um, it's super heavyweight. It's got a nice boxy fit. I went with a size large which fits more like an extra large, but you know, that's the, that's the fit I was looking for. For the bottoms of the third outfit, I decided to go with these undercover net shorts. I'm not sure what the exact name is with a lot of these items. I don't know what the name, what the name is, but um, these are just like basic cargo twill shorts. And it has this interesting like added texture to it. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it'll come off if you hold it out. So it's kind of just like layered on top. It's not glued down or anything. Um, it's starting to rip in some places because this piece is so old, but you know it's part of the look. I really love these shorts. I got them a couple weeks ago off of Railed. Again, I get a lot of my stuff off Railed. I think they're like 200 bucks, which is a really good deal for these shorts. I'm on the hunt for um, other patterns. They have like a tiger camo one. They have like a regular camo one, I believe. I went with the size three. They're a little large on me, to be honest, but you know I'll put like a shoe string through it or something just so I can like cinch it up or uh, I'll use a belt, something like that. Um, I'm like a size 31 waist, and this is probably like a size 32 to 33. Really great shorts, they're high quality too, you just gotta be careful with the netting. Don't let it get snagged on anything or else it'll just tear out and that'll be horrible. But yeah, for the shoes of this outfit, I decided to go with another Alix piece, I know, I like Alix a lot. These are the low top leather hiking boots, um, in collaboration with ROA. I believe this released last season, so... I don't think you can get them anymore. I've talked about these a lot in my other videos, um, in my Leaks Alternatives video too, so definitely go check that out because I talked about where you can get a very similar looking shoe just like these ones. They're really high quality. I haven't used these for hiking, but I have used my other ones for hiking before, so you know they actually work for hiking. And then finally, as an added accessory, I have this Clot Ian Connor backpack. If you guys have seen my Leaks Alternatives video, then you know that I work for Ian. So I got this backpack right here. This backpack is so sick. Uh, I think he made, he designed this with Clot, I want to say like three years ago. Um, so it's kind of an old backpack. Um, there's not a lot of structure to this. It's kind of just like a loose fabric backpack. So I think that's obviously part of the look. And then it has these really extended uh, nylon straps that hang off the bottom. This is like my only nice looking backpack right now. The other one I have is just like a beater backpack. I'll need to get a different backpack at some point. But yeah, I just love this backpack so much. 
it's really really simple it's just two compartments that's it there's no laptop holder or anything like that so I wouldn't I wouldn't get this if you plan on keeping fragile stuff in this maybe just like clothes like an overnight bag I know this might be a little bit out there but I think the blue complements the Alique shirt well which is why I decided to wear a backpack along with it hopefully you guys agree with me let me know what you think Before I forget, let's go over the wall for today. Uh, right here I have the Supreme 2013 Eyes button-up. So not the CDG collaboration ones, it's the OG Eyes button-up. Um, it's got eye, eye prints all over it. It is for sale in case you guys want to buy it. Um, I just have this Balenciaga swing denim jacket. I've got two of them, but the other one I cut the sleeves off to make it into a vest. I'll be showing that off in another video. And then finally, this is like the holy grail of vintage t-shirts if you guys are vintage collectors at all you know this is like a holy grail this is the 1994 movie promo t-shirt for nbk natural born killers uh it's got this super sick graphic it's an xl so it's really hard size to find um i love this t-shirt please let me know which outfit was your favorite in the comments below subscribe leave a like follow me on instagram all that cool stuff and i'll see you guys later peace